Hi, I'm Davir, and today we have a new episode in the art review series. Uh, and this time, we're reviewing the work of Me041. I can't read this, but yeah, I found this specific piece on Pinterest, this one. Um, it's sort of a... it looks Egyptian-inspired. I think it went along with this piece over here. Uh, but I do like the work. It's very sketchy. It feels like it came from the sketchbook, but it looks good. Um, I do like this kind of look where the line work is not that uh, refined. There, there's a certain rawness to it, but um, like it feels done on the fly. And I think when you do stuff like this, it, it just looks way more confident than even the most fully rendered stuff, right? Uh, but also they're able to make it look good. For example, the proportions are correct or not correct they're just more aesthetic and they just they're in the right places so, so even if the line work isn't fully finished like because of where it's placed it just looks correct and right so i think this is based on or they're trying to mix the chainsaw man this looks like makima from chainsaw man uh and they're trying to mix it with some kind of goths punk vibe right? i mean look at this sketch right here Look at the line work, it's very confident, but again, if you look at the face, look at how the proportions are just correct, and they're very pretty to look at. But the line work is, is pretty messy, the line weights are kind of everywhere. Uh, it feels like very loose, but the energy seems to be there. And when it's painted in, or when you do add some paint, they're just using like a basic hard brush with some texture in the edges. Um, so that's interesting. This one is from the, I think it's a Demon Slayer guy, I believe. Right? Look at the looseness of it. It's very sketchy, but it's it's attractive. It, it, it caught my eye. And uh, I want to be able to do this one day, where I can just pump out these sorts of like drawings. I mean, look at how cute she is. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, they, they did add a bit of that blur effect for this specific, like... Uh, mecha mechanical thing. Not sure where this is from. This anime is from, but or maybe it's original. Like the stuff like this, where it's more playful. Uh, you see, you see this a lot where people draw the food they eat along with their artwork. You know, where, whether it's udon, ramen. This one looks like some kind of chicken popcorn or shrimp popcorn. Fuck, ever had shrimp popcorn? Amazing. Anyway, look at how delicious this looks. Right, so you can see him drooling. Look at how loose uh, the line work is, but it just it's fu it's fun. That's what I like about it. It's fun, right? It's very playful, and it makes you want to just be with them, right? I'm not sure what program this is. Maybe they're doing this in their phone. It looks the the UI looks kind of small, so maybe they are doing this in their phone. I have no idea what program this is on, so. If you know, you know, comment it below, but so here we have the Demon Slayer guy, um, or Rengoku, RIP. We have a snake dude. Um, I forgot this anime, but he's basically like he's lost a lot of his human parts. So the entire story is him gaining his human parts back. That's my rough understanding of the the anime. Again, some loose fun sketches here. In this program, he has... I think it's in his phone again. Uh, but yeah, look at how messy sometimes it can look. And, I, you know, people don't usually post stuff like this because, you know, it, it's not always finished. But I like seeing it because it shows you that not all of the the sketches you make are going to be, you know, super refined. You know, sometimes they're just for fun. Sometimes they're there to, you know, explore some ideas, right? Now, even though this one is still in the sketchy, but it's not, it's a bit more refined, right? It's a bit more correct. Uh, the proportions seem to be where it's supposed to be. So there's some kind of base there that they can work off of. Uh, but look at how the line work is. Not a lot of pointy, like that, you, can, you don't really see the pen pressure as much. It looks like they're, they're just using like a plain uh, round brush. Not much line with variety. Uh, even the way it's rendered, like look at how they're just using a round brush. So they're one of those people, right? Round brush supremacy. 
I love the goth look here. Reminds me of the chick from The Witch something. Where it's basically a guy, but he was he's trapped in like a body of a girl or of a witch that cursed him. The witch and the the hunter or something something like that. It's a really cool anime, and they're both like so pretty. Well, the 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 guy she's with, the the magician guy, and also her or her witch body. It's so like she has a tomboy look, very hot. Um, so we here we have a nun. And a girl nun, so that's pretty. Oh shit, she has a skull, so she's kind of like a weird sort of nun. But again, look at the round brush being used. Whether it be this actual like line sketch, the rough line sketch, and the, the rendering. Very simplistic, but look at what you can do with it. Damn, look at Rengoku here. I like the funness, the energy. Like it just feels like you want to draw when you look at stuff like this. Um, it's not as uh, finished looking or refined, say, as the ar previous artist we reviewed, Chu Zen G. Um, but it has the energy, right? Look at that. So hot. So here we have a snake guy. Oh, with a long ass tongue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But again, if you look at the line work, oh my god, they had to draw like the scales and everything. But there's hardly any line weight variety. It's just like a plain round uh, brush. Uh, I do like the complementary colors here. The the green and the, the blue purple. Looks really good. Oh no! I'm not sure where she's from, but as you can see, the armpits are there to be seen. Huh? And noticed. Um... Yeah, again, look at the line work. Look at how sometimes it goes back and forth. It's very sketchy, very sort of wild, but uh, they do get it right, I think, with the face. Pretty much everything because of the proportions. Anyway, hopefully you didn't hear that, but um, yeah. So this chick is hot. Um, the pink sort of eye shadow thing reminds me of Lucy from the, the cyberpunk anime. The cyberpunk runner, cyber runner. Anyway, moving on. So yeah, if you look at their sketches, it's very bold, direct. Like, it's from the sketchbook. It's super fun to watch. Um, and a lot of it has energy, right? Like, even this face right here. Like, she looks like it fits her character. Like, she's the she's sort of like the uptight, conservative, but sort of... Um, if you look at the eyes, it's very... It's very, like... Like she's coming at you with like her eyes. She has dagger eyes. You know what I mean? Uh, pretty hot. Um, here we have like a maid outfit. And again, the program. I think it's a phone again. Um, oh, very in service, right? Oh, it's from an anime. I forgot. I've seen like one episode of this anime, but it's so I haven't really followed it all the way. But I love the expression here. Again. Um, I think it works best when they add color because if it just line work, it can look a little boring, right? I think you'll you'll see how fun it looks the moment you add some color, right? Even this made outfit, even if it's like black and white, uh, it looks more fun. And you have like the skin tone here. You don't even have that much like variety in terms of like values or hues, but for example, for this space, it's just like blues and maybe the skin tone, but it looks fun as hell, right? Very interesting. I love the expression here. Um, you do need to get it right somewhat with the, the basic or initial line drawing sketch. Because um, once you get that right, everything just... Like, you can even paint over this if you wanted to, but you don't have to. It shows you that if you have a good foundation, in this case, it's going to be the, the drawing portions. It's going to look fine regardless of how far you, like, render or color the, the piece. Look at this. Oh, demure. Right. All in grayscale, but you can still see the dynamic be be between the lines they use and the uh, how they color the piece. It's a good contrast. Um, so that's it for this art review of... Uh, what's her name again? 
me, me 041 i do like these this one more this and it would have to be oh this chick is kind of hot too the armpit chick is pretty hot um and this one it's just it's more fun and you don't even have to render that much maybe add some shadows but it's basically the line and then flat colors and then maybe one value for the shadows basically the darker version of whatever flat area area you're working on for example this one's kind of like a yellow something a yellow gray ish and then they have one other value for the shadows and, and then that's it you don't have to go that far but it still looks super fun it's great for like when you're designing stuff you don't have to always render things uh to an extreme and you can explore so many ideas this way and uh and again, it's just fun to look at, fun to watch, and it makes you want to draw and make um, some fast, fun art. Uh, so that's it for this art review of, again, at me041. I'll link their links in the description below. And uh, let me just go back here. And I'll see you in the, the next episode. Bye.